fact, if we analyze this prophecy, does not befit anyone better than the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. If we analyze Prophet Moses and Prophet. Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tell Tata Gani to go What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan, and we are funny and Jesse. Did you guys just miss that? Anyway, guys, uh, man, it's been like two months I've not been on this channel right here. The reason being that. I've been so busy, you know. I've been doing my uh, okay. I'm doing my masters in media and communication, so uh, I've been busy just doing my assignments, busy uh, trying to do research here and there, and also uh, I've been doing what like I've been working too. So it has been so you know clogged up for me to even just come and sit down and and actually talk to you guys. But again, the most important thing I was just trying to take a break from YouTube. I just wanted to find myself, you know, I just wanted to figure out who is really Jesse Keegan, you get it, and man, honestly speaking guys, I already know the kind of a person I am, um, there's one, through my reading, I just came across a statement that said, uh, the only way out is within, and that already just made me uh, become the person that I am today. I mean knowing thyself is very very important even you, you you it reaches a point When you have so much love and you feel ready to just go out there and give love to other people Imagine if you're deprived of love and then you at the same time you want to go out and love people out there I mean, it's it's, it's gonna be a hard task for you to even manage because in the first place you don't love yourself so you're giving yourself a, 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 a what like a, a bad head start just for yourself not to uh, to think about yourself know who you are trying to figure out exactly what you need in life or exactly what you really want to pursue in life and what is even your purpose in the first place anyway guys Thank you so much. I hope I'm being uh, welcomed in a good way. And first of all, I want to thank my girlfriend who has been holding down on this channel so much. She is the realest MVP. She's she has just been there from day one, posting and posting just to entertain you guys. You guys are super super amazing, and you guys have been seeing your replies and comments and all those kind of stuff. You guys are super amazing. Thank you so much. Keep on supporting us. Just the other day, it was our birthday, and I want to thank everybody who wished a happy birthday. If you haven't. Just go down in the comment section below and wish her a happy birthday. She'll, she'll really be happy that uh, you guys are wishing her a happy birthday. So, um, today I have a special reaction for you guys. And today we're going to do a reaction by uh, Dr. Zakir Naik. And this one is Prophet Muhammad uh, prophesied in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy. So, we're going to look into this and probably try and you know learn one or two things anyway once again guys i want to thank you so much for allowing me to come back again and thank you so much and if you're new to this channel we're finding just we do a lot of reaction videos and feel free to just subscribe and be part of the family we also have our patreon down in the comment section below just make sure to go and uh click man just go and click the patreon and support us in each and everywhere we post stuff over there that youtube probably feels like it doesn't uh, fit in well with the uh, algorithm or probably with their monetization and stuff like that So we put it on patreon so that we can have you guys go and check it out Check it out or something just support us and we'll be so happy and thank you. Thank you so much So without any further ado guys, let's get it Since Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the last and final messenger He was not sent only for the Muslims or for the Arabs. He was sent for the whole of humanity and the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is mentioned in the scriptures of all the major world religions. It's even mentioned in the Bible. If you read the Old Testament, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. Almighty God says, I shall raise them, O Prophet, from among their brethren, 
like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. This prophecy, which is mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God speaks to Moses, peace be upon him, and says, I shall raise them, O prophet, from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. Many of the Christians, they say that this prophecy refers to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And when we ask them that how does this prophecy refer to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and they tell us that here the prophecy says, I shall raise them for profit from among their brethren like unto thee. The prophet to come should be like Moses, peace be upon him. And the similarities the Christians give between Jesus and Moses, peace be upon them, is that Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them, they were Jews. And both Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them were prophets of God. If these two are the only similarities for the fulfillment of the prophecy, then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible after Moses, peace be upon him, fulfilled the prophecy. All the prophets mentioned after Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, were Jews and all were prophets of God. For example, Prophet Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Joel, John the Baptist, all of them, they were Jews and all of them were prophets of God. If these two are the only similarities, then there are several prophets mentioned in the Bible which fulfill this prophecy. In fact, if we analyze this prophecy does not befit anyone better than the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him if we analyze prophet Moses and prophet Muhammad peace be upon them both of them were born naturally they had a mother and they had a father but Jesus Christ peace be upon him he was born miraculously without any male intervention he had a mother but he had no father. And it is mentioned in the Quran about his birth in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 47. It's also mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 1, verse number 18, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1, verse number 35, that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. So if we analyze, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. And Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, we know that Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them, they were married and they had children. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not married and he had no children. So Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him, and Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Moses, peace be upon him. Further, when we read the Quran and the Bible, we come to know that Moses, peace be upon him, he had a natural death. Same like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He too had a natural death. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not have a natural death. According to the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse 158, he was raised up alive. And according to the Bible also, it is the same. But many Christians say that he was crucified. Even if we agree what they say, though I have given a talk to you from the Bible, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified. Irrespective whether he was raised up alive or whether he was crucified, he did not die a natural death. So if we analyze, we come to know that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him. And Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Moses, peace be upon him. Further, we come to know from the Quran and the Bible that Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them were accepted by the people as a whole. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not accepted by the people as a whole. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 11. He came to his own and his own people forsook him. So he was not accepted by his people as a whole. Furthermore, Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, 
they were worldly kings. That means they could give the punishment of life and death to whoever they wanted. They had that power. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 18, verse number 36. He says, my kingdom is not of this world. And furthermore, Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them, they bought a new law. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not bring a new law. He came to confirm the previous law. As was mentioned here in the Quran, in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, he said to the children of Israel, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, I have been sent as a messenger to you, confirming the law what has come before me, and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come, whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's also mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157. It says, they follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, which is mentioned in the scriptures, the law and the gospel. So when we read the Quran, it says that it will be prophesied in the scriptures, in the law and the gospel, about the coming of Muhammad So Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. And further it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19, that anyone who does not hearken to his words, I will require of him. Some translations say, I will take revenge. That means anyone who does not follow this messenger to come, Almighty God will take revenge from these people. Wow, such an amazing message right there. I've always liked uh, Dr. Zakir Naik. I mean, he's a really good scholar. You can you can tell like he has a lot of knowledge when it comes to the Bible itself. You get it. He himself is a Muslim, but the way he just knows it, and the way he's just like read page by page, the way you can just mention page by page uh, in the Bible, that's just incredibly amazing. And just him talking about Prophet Muhammad um, prophesied in the Bible in the Book of Deuteronomy. I think that's. Uh, probably this might be new to some people out there be it Muslims or even Christians and whatnot because we are here to just learn and uh, learn new things you get it and every day is just a learning process and this is incredibly amazing I mean I have nothing to say about this video over here it's just self-explanatory and um, if you're doubting what Dr. Zakinaik was talking about you can just go on Deuteronomy and um, just check out those verses in there you just probably find it you just probably see where prophet muhammad was prophesied in the bible or something anyway um this is amazing if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about a reaction and what you feel about prophet uh, and what you feel about this video over here and just let us know in the comment section below what do you think just give us your your thoughts you know um, I know you have your different kind of thoughts I know there are people who say that hey Muhammad was never mentioned in the Bible or all those kind of things and whatnot people have different you know thoughts and all those kind of things probably uh, maybe when you uh, watch this probably you're gonna have a different type of mentality and you, you will maybe shift your mind from thinking how you were thinking but anyway this has been so amazing and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'll see you or rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out